speculation station. It's hard to believe that after what Brian Danielson said last night, it's hard to believe that it's not going to be the former Antonio Cesaro, Claudio Castagnoli. It could be somebody else, but it's really hard to believe that Brian Danielson was not talking about uh, Cesaro last night and the possibility of him coming in and replacing him not only at Forbidden Door against Zack Sabre Jr., but also in the Blood and Guts match. And I'll say this, if it's Cesaro, because he's got a history with Eddie Kingston, you know, you could maybe add some intrigue uh, to the to the match. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to see a situation like Kurt Henning and the Horsemen and the NWO back in the day where he gets in there and he's going to help defend the honor. And then he ends up turning immediately and, and beating down Flair and all that sort of stuff, slamming the cage door on the head, doing that routine. I wouldn't be looking forward to something like that, but it would add a little bit of mysterious intrigue in i guess for for some people if you wanted to go in that direction uh if, if it's him who shows up to face off against zach saber jr if it's not him i don't know who else it could be because you have jonathan gresham on the roster and he's fabulous and he is your roh heavyweight champion and he is the type of person that brian danielson was talking about but i have a feeling that if it was going to be a jonathan gresham you would have announced that last night and you could have had some sort of face off against zach saber jr it's just not a big enough name it's not enough of an impactful name for you to pull that out as a surprise the only other person that i could randomly think of maybe i don't know his contract status I don't know his concussion status, but we've seen a lot of guys come back from head and neck injuries that a lot of people thought they'd never come back from. And that's Nigel McGuinness. And like I said, it, it, it's such, it's a, it's a slight outside shot. I am 99.9% Isn't he still working sure. for NXT UK? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. But I don't know. I don't watch NXT UK. I have no idea if he does announcing. I have no idea about any of that stuff or his, or his status. So... I, again, if it's not Gresham, if it's not Zack Sabre Jr., you start trying to pull up names from the past and pull up names that you think would be relevant, who he could actually be, you know, talking about. And there's just there's just not enough of them, you know. Other yeah, than he's, Gresham, he signed he well, signed a WWE. He's a commentator for NXT, so, so they, he's gonna be so, nice. Yeah. Well, forget about him. Take him out of the mix. Well, you know, I a mean, name someone threw him. in here. Who? Chris Hero. Just as good as Claudio. Because, Just as good. Because His here's, partner. Yes. Here's the thing. Perfect. Like, everyone's talking about uh, Gargano. And I would have no problem with Gargano. But 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 the promo last night. The <laughs> promo last night. Danielson said, I trust this man to both face Zack Sabre Jr. And also, like, a violent blood and guts match coming up on... on uh, on Wednesday, and I'm not saying that that Gargano couldn't do a wild blood and guts match, but that seems more fitting, like a, a big brutish, you know, a, a, a Claudio, a Chris Hero, and uh, Chris Hero is back taking bookings again. So I don't think yeah. it's uh, I don't think it's Chris Hero, but somebody brought it up in the chat, and uh, you know that's as good a that's as good a name as any. But I do think it's most likely Claudio. You know what I'd like to see? Claudio come back, team with Chris Hero, and they face off against FTR. That's what I'd like to see. Well, brother, what I'd like to see is my internet hold up for this last segment, because that's pretty worrisome. No offense to anyone named Bert. But when no. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you got to go to NXT, and your name is Bert, okay? <laughs> you can either spell it B-E-R-T or B-U-R-T. You're going to look at both of those, you're going to go, E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because, like, it's, like, I drank so much, I burnt. You know? <laughs> what? First it was Narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to The Narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't Narcissus. That was The Narcissist. The Narcissist. No! The Narcissist. Who cares? <laughs> Bert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bert Narcissist. <laughs> Bert, like, Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert Narcissist. He's such a narcissist, he kept the name Bert. Yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.